the concepts most people came up with when you asked them about a wheelchair were words such as fear, pity, restriction, limitation, illness and so on. But for me, from the first moment I used a wheelchair, it was, it's, I say it all the time because for me, the first moment I used a wheelchair, it just gave me the most tremendous sense of freedom. I'd lost my mobility over a couple of years prior to that, two or three years. And so this pr um, somebody, and I can't remember how come somebody brought a power chair to my house to try. And I can remember to this day that feeling of going down the street and then along the road that I'd hardly seen. And the feeling, the thing I always say is the feeling of the wind on my face was incredible. And I was going, brilliant, I can be back out in the world again. There's this amazing piece of equipment. Obviously, this is probably wheelchair number four now that's going to get me out there. Literally to start with I was in um, a dive suit with using a button in my hand and because of that combination of the intention which was to create s s surreal as, as you mentioned surreal juxtapositions that might have the power to excite and inspire that was that because there was an artistic research process guiding the development of the work it helped shape and push the idea further and further because it wasn't just about creating a wheelchair that would fly underwater, it was about creating dramatic and unexpected imagery. Because I have some use of my legs, I'm steering with my feet and steering with the Pegasus, there's two motors so it means I can steer in either direction. And the fin at the back, um, when we put the two Pegasus thrusters on, it started looping the loop because there was so much power um, around the centre of gravity. And so we, I worked out I needed to increase the angle of the fins to keep myself stable in the water, but it was so boring after loop the looping. Um, at that point, the motors weren't powerful enough in Egypt to loop, do a full loop the loop, but I've since done a new adaptation to the chair which adds an extra layer of buoyancy underneath that happened by accident. And now I, I hang upside down even, it's amazing, it's quite incredible. I diverted in the meantime to paint with my wheelchair and I created um, this looping white set of tracks through Plymouth for my degree show which <laughs> created quite a stir over four and a half kilometres and through a whole series of instances I believed I had full, full permission and I had partial permission but I, it turned out I actually didn't have permission to paint across the roads so it caused quite a, quite a big debate but the lovely thing was that the people of all ages would run and dance along those lines so for me I was leaving a trace of my joy and freedom and my a trace of my joy and freedom became a conceptual presence and physical presence in people's minds as they played along those lines. And I created those using the white paint that's used to mark out fields of play. So you can see this layering that happens through a, an arts practice that then is relevant to inclusion because I think there's a, s a similar process that goes on that you, you start from one point because with each person, what inclusion it to be inclusive for, for one person is totally the opposite for another. So you have to start from the beginning with each person and it's a process of engagement and building up and working out what could be possible. Although it started off with transforming preconceptions about the wheelchair, for me, I've come to understand it's all of us have life changing, changing events. You know, every single one of us at some point in our life faces some kind of major life event and I think that f and for me that happened to be a, a, a becoming disabled um, but I think that the value of thinking about looking from a different perspective echoes for any for any part of life and it's at the heart of inclusivity so I think um, and that has now led to a commission to create a flying wheelchair, which I have to say is proving to be a very challenging and quite a scary process. And we don't know yet whether it's going to be possible, but I'm learning to fly 
and I'm flying a tandem flexwing microlite, which is the most exciting experience. It's amazing. So I kind of have these pinch me moments when I go. I have moments of terror uh, as before when I was about to speak at NASA and I think before I speak at the European Parliament in a few days time. But then I have these other pinch me moments when my team, my team are gathered around me, we're diving in Egypt. It's, it's just incredible.